Well, a live look for you at Coors Field tonight where the Home Run Derby lived up to all the hype. An incredible opening act before tomorrow night's all-star game. Well, tonight we're looking at the celebration on the streets of downtown Denver, as well as the serious side of this event. Good evening. Thanks for being with us. I'm Karen Lee reporting from McGregor Square outside the ballpark. I'm Jim Benneman. We'll get to the Derby and the rest of the All-Star events in a moment, but we would, we begin rather with the backstory on the massive security detail to protect the fans and players. The show of force was put into the spotlight during a big bust over the weekend. Police arrested four people Saturday at a hotel near the ballpark after a load of guns and drugs was found in a room. While the incident made national headlines, police and the FBI FBI say there was no threat to all-star activities or the fans, but the attention also showed the heightened state of security surrounding All-Star Week. It is by far the biggest event in Colorado since the pandemic began. We have team coverage for you right now. Alan Janae hears from the two of the men, rather, arrested in the Maven Hotel incident. I want to start, though, with Karen Morfitt. Karen, Denver, no stranger to major events, but this one is different. Yeah, absolutely, Jim. We know the All-Star Game came to Denver kind of last minute, which meant the city and the police had limited time to prepare for such a massive event and the security surrounding it. But we've seen tonight they have made police very visible here in downtown. With jersey-clad baseball fans flooding downtown Denver, there's one team that stands out among the crowd. We actually noticed right away there were just a, a big presence of not only like firemen, police officers, security. Angel Mendoza and James Higgins say safety was on their mind when it came to taking their four-year-old son to the home run derby. We kind of established a family plan like we have a family in the neighborhood. So if anything were to happen, we have a place to meet. According to Denver Police Division Chief Joe Montoya, city agencies would typically spend more than a year planning for this type of an event. The sudden move from Atlanta left them with just 13 weeks and political controversy that added to their safety concerns. Because of, of how it ended up here, we thought, well, that could that could spark some, some people wanting to come into town and uh, maybe um, be disruptive. Working with federal and state partners, he says they have teams both behind the scenes and on the streets who are continuously working to identify any potential issues. There has not been any high level threats. We have a very good network of being able to to uh, to scan and, and look for those types of, of threats. For this family, it's just enough to set worries aside. Are you excited for tonight? Tell her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very shy. Now, Denver police would not say just exactly how many resources they have working the all-star game and the events surrounding it, but they did say that their biggest asset continues to be the community, and they remind everyone, if you see something, say something. For now, we're live in downtown Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First. Karen, thank